picking up the last few odds and ends of wire mesh for concrete slab and the vapor barrier. And then we will be on our merry way. So this is our vapor barrier. We're doing a 15 mil. So we're gonna get it laid out, spread out, cut, and then we gotta tape the joints. We gotta lap the joints about six inches and then tape them. Um, so pretty straightforward, just like putting a big tarp down. Except it's really heavy. I guess the logo side's supposed to go up, so I'm gonna flip it over and Back on. Making a little bit of headway. So once we lay it out, the seams, we have to come back and tape them. And then we got to put all the wire mesh in here and they'll be ready to pour. So still got quite a bit of work to do. I don't know how heavy that roll is, but it's a lot heavier than I can pick up. Especially in an awkward shape like that. But praise the Lord, that's the last one.
whoever manufactures this stuff should be slapped. Because when you unroll it, the logo's on the bottom. And then you gotta flip it over. I'm not sure if the inspector will care to see the logos, but like if you're like windows and things like that, if you take the stickers off your windows before you have a CO, they can fail your project. So I don't know, the inspectors get kind of goofy sometimes. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome back. It is day three of getting ready for our slab pour. Got a good bit of rain last night, but everything's still in pretty good shape. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go around the edges and trim our, our waterproofing membrane. Last night or yesterday afternoon, my phone died, so I didn't really video much, but my mom actually came, which was awesome and helped me out. And we got all our wire mesh in for our slab reinforcement as you can see so we're going to trim this uh, membrane up today and then we will be ready for some concrete we've got concrete coming in the morning at 7 a.m so we should be ready we got our inspection today for our under slab uh, pre-pour inspection and once we pass that we'll have the green light to pour this thing and have us a basement slab and be ready to start framing um, last other things going on last week. I met with our Waterproofing folks that are going to be waterproofing our foundation. So they're going to be here next week So we're going to pour the slab Friday and then next week We're going to waterproof the outside of the foundation and then I'm hoping the week after that the framing crew will be here to get started. So Hopefully this thing will really start clicking and coming along and start seeing some progress All right, so we've got everything done. We are ready to pour. We've trimmed the edges of our vapor barrier. We've got all the joints taped. You see the red tape. Got all our wire mesh in. So we are ready, seven o'clock in the morning. We will be pouring some concrete. Um, 
just did some math, measured all our square footages, our block wall and all that. And so we have ordered 75 yards now. So it's gonna take a little more than we had originally thought, but luckily we called and reserved our spot. That's the big thing with concrete right now, because it's two, three weeks to get concrete. So call them two weeks ahead of time, give them your best guess at your quantity of concrete, but at least you have a slot where you dedicated time for you to get concrete. So that's what we did. We originally said, hey, we're gonna need 60 yards. We're just ballparking. And uh, this morning we actually confirmed our order, said, hey, we're gonna actually need 75 yards. And they said, fine. We actually have to call in the morning uh, at 6 a.m. You have to call one hour prior to your release time to confirm your concrete and to release it. So we got a call in the morning at 5.45, 6 o'clock, but no later than 6 o'clock to turn that concrete loose so that it's here at 7 a.m. So I've confirmed with Mr. Childress, our pumper, concrete pumper. So they'll be here in the morning with the pump. And I've also confirmed uh, Mr. Jose Luis, who's doing our finish work. And he's confirmed for in the morning as well. So things are looking up. And by the end of the day tomorrow, this will no longer be green. It'll be gray with some beautiful concrete. See you guys later. Thanks for joining.